Good morning. Uh, this is Andrew Benioff with Lenrock Blog, and today um, we're lucky enough to have Rhina Cutler, Deputy Mayor of Transportation and Utilities for the City of Philadelphia with us. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about um, infrastructure and real estate. Um, and Rhina, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Um, let's start by talking about um, the growth of neighborhoods outside Center City and how they affect your work. Is increasing development in the outlying sections of the city creating new challenges for you here in the Center City District? Well, I think it creates challenges on two different levels. Um, one, there is only so much money to go around and a lot of infrastructure needs, mm -hmm. both on the road and bridge side, on the water and sewer infrastructure side, mm -hmm. um, on the transit side. And so I think um, the more those resources need to be diverted to a higher, uh, longer, bigger area just starts to diminish the ability to um, keep up with the state of good repair for all of the infrastructure. But I think it's a really positive sign that development has pushed out um, not only into the what I'd say is the inner ring neighborhoods of uh, yeah, Northern Liberties and uh, Frankfurt and uh, and uh, south of South and some of the other upcoming neighborhoods. Uh, but actually it's, it's pushed out in ways that I don't think we expected it. And so I think the infrastructure needs for both roads and bridges and particularly transit starts to come to the forefront of um, how the lack of uh, funding for infrastructure is really going to hit us. Mm -hmm. um, so it will become more and more significant as the I-95 corridor continues to go under construction mm -hmm. for what is about a 10-year rebuild mm -hmm. from um, the New Jersey border to the Delaware border. 26 of those 52 miles of Interstate 95 are in Philadelphia. So there's a lot of neighborhoods that are going to get impacted as, mm -hmm. as the uh, as the interstate gets rebuilt. And so one of the issues we're looking at at the moment with both PennDOT and SEPTA is, you know, is there a way to divert car traffic off the interstate while you're doing this 10-year rebuild? And if it is, what are the alternatives and how do we move people in a different way? So I think um, the good news is that the transportation agencies are actually at the table all together trying to take a look at the issue mm -hmm. um, and I think um, there probably is transit expansion that needs to happen as it relates to the I-95 rebuild mm -hmm. um, that gives us an opportunity here to look at it in a different way. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, let's go on.